What's up, what's up, what's up? This your boy Q, the content guy, and I am back for a brand new review, Married to Medicine, Season 10, Episode 6, Winery Country. Um, Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend who knows a friend who knows a friend who also knows a friend, and then they know that other friend who want to like mess. So come on over to the channel, subscribe, like a video, sit back and chill, grab a snack, and let's do what we do best, talk mess. All right, so. Uh, per usual, Married to Medicine got it going on. It's not a surprise there. Another good episode. Um, this episode is pretty much the beginning. Was well, pretty much the end for Quadria Lunksford. Wait, Quadria Webb Lunksford. Oh, we'll take the Lunksford away. Belongs to somebody else. So, so right now we have um, Toya, Simone, Heavenly. And Jackie all meeting up. And they're talking about going to Napa. Toya is talking about how she, you know, she's going to go meet some CEOs for her wine. And um, it doesn't make sense for, for Quad to be there because of what happened at the funeral. Where pretty much Quad was showing her ass. Um, there was no, there was never an apology on her end. And the ladies are kind of just like, you know, over it. Um. Toya says she knows where she stands with her. Um, Heavily said, uh, I've been assisted to her no matter what. Um, Heavily also said, you know, she kind of cut her off when she found, when she got in cool with, with Phaedra. She kind of found like her new yang. Um, Toya says, you know, good friends should try to keep us together. Jackie is pretty much like, are you saying that we're going to, that we're going to invite her to the trip? Toya was like, yeah, we'll see. We'll, may have, we'll have Phaedra call her because, you know, Phaedra likes to do dirty work. So We have a scene where Laura is telling Heavenly that she's been accepted into FAMU. Heavenly is beyond sad, but at the same time beyond happy for her. So congratulations to you, Alora. Alora, please take some of that shine off your face. Um, so congratulations to her. Heavy does not want her to leave, but baby, let Alora go out there and spread her wings uh, like an angel. Spread your wings like a butterfly. Whoa, whoa, whoa you and I. What is that? How it go? You and I. I don't know how it go. Um Cecil, Simone, uh, Michael, and Miles all show up. Baby Miles pull up in his Jeep. Simone looks surprised, like, oh, Michael's here. My son, my baby boy. Uh, she is investing in a condo for the boys. Um, she was already going to invest in a property. So she said, why, instead of paying rent, why not just invest in the condo? And let's not forget that Simone had a house when her and Cecil was going through. She had a whole nother house. So mama got a coin. Um, she brings out a contract. She was like, there will be no overnight guests longer than two days. <laughs> um, and if she's longer, she's here longer than two days, she's got to pay some rent. I need my money. Honey. Bab to the right. Money to the lip. If you both, we can meet in the middle. Um, They need to keep the house clean. She don't want to come over there and the bathroom and kitchen is nasty and I know some people with some nasty houses. And the house don't be nasty itself. It be the kitchen. It be the bathroom. Then they want to act like, oh, you want me? Oh, I need to clean up. When? Next year? When you going to clean up? Because you should have already had done it. Um, she's giving Miles one year free rent and giving Michael two years free rent. Um, she was like, you know, if y'all violate this contract, honey, we'll be terminated in immediate eviction and you're not moving back in with me. Now, I feel that I like the, I like the plan, right? I think Miles has two more years of, co um, excuse me, Michael has two more years of college and Miles has one more year of college. So to me, it makes sense. Um, some people will be like, it's not fair. Other people will be like, you know, it makes sense to me. It makes sense. Um, Miles needs to get himself together. Like, sir, you twenty six. I need you to. I need you to hop on a good foot. 
And the thing is, at the end of the day, I've said this time and time again, college is not for everybody. I myself am, am not a college graduate and I make a nice coin. So, you know, college is not for everybody, um, especially the field that he's trying to go into. I, if, if he's trying to go into movies and acting and directing and all that good stuff, it is not necessarily for everybody. So I don't find anything wrong with it, but that's also not my child. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, not my child. Eugene and Toya are talking about the group and how important this trip is for Toya, and pretty much, um, she don't, he don't want Quar going. He don't like Quar. He ain't never going to like Quar. He say she ain't nothing but like a a, a bull, a, a gun, a little gunpowder child. Put a little powder in her, and she ready to go off. Um, so he said, I don't. You don't need that for yourself. Um, the ladies are in the van. The ladies are in the van. They have landed in San Francisco. And heavily sit next to sits next to um Sweetie. And she's like, you know, I don't, you know, I wanted to be invited to your uh celebration. I want to celebrate your special day. And she's looking at her like, girl, you talk mad-ish about my special day that you wanted to celebrate. So what are you talking about? And She's like, girl, your man 55, 54, your little girl, you 30, your man old as dirt. Um, they tell her heavily, like, she starts going off, and I'm like, here's my problem. Why does it matter? Why does it matter? Like, that lady that gone and got married, whether y'all think Greg is a piece of ish or not, that lady decided to go ahead and accept his proposal, go ahead and marry him, and now she's on the same show that you all are on. Mama, what are y'all, What? what's the problem? Didn't you go down there and marry daddy? Didn't you go down there and marry daddy, buddy? When the, when the pastor was up there and say, buddy, do you accept these vows? And daddy, do you accept these vows? And both of y'all say yes. Nobody said nothing then. But you got all this heat for Sweet Tea and Greg, and I don't understand why. And um, and my thing is, like, you're going to ruin the friendship between Greg and Damon at the end of the day because of your running your mouth. Heavily all, that's my, my job is to run my mouth, and my job is to punch you in your mouth. So I guess we now e equal. Um, You know, like, Heavenly Girl, you need, you, you, you doing the most. So they telling Heavenly, like, girl, you need to own it. You need to own it. And she was like, um... You know, I truly apologize um, if you felt like um, I said something wrong and I truly apologize. Here's my thing. Take the if out. I apologize. I said something wrong about your marriage and about your upcoming wedding. Take the if out. I can't stand when an MF will be like, if, if I made you feel this way. No, it's no if you did. And I'm going to need you to fix it because if I fix it, it's going to get ugly. Um, and Sweet Tea was like, I'm not going to confine you no more. Simone was like, no more or no more? She was like, no more. So they get to the rooms. The rooms is very nice, baby. One thing about that Toya, baby, Toya going Toya to make sure the girls are sitting up and sit nice. That she'll make sure the girls sit nice. We ain't never see these girls fight over rooms. None of that stuff. The Married to Medicine girls, when, they, when Toya plans a trip, baby, Toya plans a trip. Um, she asked. Simone said, did you get Quad a room? And she said, oh, I didn't know Quad was, I didn't know Quad was coming. Oh. I didn't know, oh, she come, she coming on this trip? Oh, okay, well, well, you know, okay, well. And then so she started texting people, uh, hey, can Quad share a room with you? Jackie was like, no. Simone was like, no. Toya was like, no. And Phaedra was like, no. Heavenly was like, no. Here you go, poor Dr. Alicia. Sure. Girl. What? I guess next week we're going to get a little bit more Dr. Alicia. Because, girl, I'm just thinking to myself, girl, what is you up here doing? I just don't. I don't. I, uh, oh, I just don't. Just, she's just a waste of space. She's just a waste of space. Um... Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so so that was so that was that scene. I really don't like. I really don't like the fact that Doctor Heavily is shading 
sweet tea still to this point about her marriage, about somebody she's married. Like, I just, girl, that baby sweet tea better because I'd have been a cuss heavenly out. I'm just going to deny you that hoe, chopped up and served on the side. Boom. Um, so, um, the ladies going to bike ride and have a spa day. Quad shows up with this, like, attitude or whatever. She walks in the room. Um, Toya was like, girl, I think you was coming, so, honey. And none of the girls want to share a room with you. I said, oh, Toya. <laughs> um, and then, of course, Quad is like, Toya got a problem with me. Toya got a problem with me. I haven't done nothing to this girl. Toya got a problem with me. I've done nothing but be nice to her. I mean, yeah, I dragged her husband. And yeah, I said this about her. And I said all these other things about her. But I haven't done nothing to Toya. For Toya to treat me the way that Toya has treated me. So Quad is like, well, I have my own money and I can go get a room. I would have told her, bye. Go get your room. Goodbye. See you. Wouldn't want to be you. Bye. 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 Have a nice Bye, day. Trick. Bye. Bye, Trick. Bye. Bye, Kenya. Bye, Miss Ghetto. Thank you. Bye. That's what I would said. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Um, uh, Jackie and Paige just show up, child. Paige with her old lying ass. I made that baby. That's, that's a liar if I ain't never see one. Um, Phaedra claimed she missed her flight and Toya trying to figure out how because Toya was like, oh, did you ride with down here with, with, with um, Quad? And she was like, no, I missed my flight because I had a boy's birthday party yesterday. And Toya was like, girl, that was yesterday. What did I do with today? Um, I said, all right, Toya, don't play with the girls. Don't play with the girls. Don't play with the girls. Don't play with the girl. We get to dinner. Jackie lets us know that she'll be speaking with Madam Vice President about, you know, um, abortions and all those kind of things. So congratulations to Jackie. Qua comes to the table, baby. Toya said, girl, look at this fool. Um, she says, she says, Toya, no matter what space we're in, I'm super proud of you. And, and you know, I'm super proud of you. Baby Toya was like, it's Toya pretty much was little. I got the number, husband. Mm -hmm. Now, people can be like, oh, Kwa was trying to say nothing nice, but at the same time, I don't mess with you, girl, so I don't need you really saying nothing to me. So, because when you came into the room, you should have been, you should have said that as soon as you came into the room, not when you got to the table. So, um, now before I get into this last scene, Quad came out with this uh, statement, not statement, but she says she was trying to get hit of the story. And this girl was like, honey, you were the season to this show. Know that they removed you. It's just uh, bland. Toya and Simone think they're the it girls now. And she spelled Simone wrong. So, girl, so much for you trying to read. Quad said, I'll be, from, I'll be in two more episodes. And they asked me to leave episode seven for the rest of the season in the most humiliating way. I'm not a hater. And I respect all the beautiful ladies of Mary to Madison, friend of fro. All of the it girls can show y'all how it they are. Here go the thing. All you quad fans, Nene fans, Vicky Gun Gunnison fans, baby, they, the, the, the show can go on without you. Whether you think the show is going to be good or not, the show can go on without you. The show must go on. Everybody is replaceable. That includes jobs. I could be replaced at my job tomorrow. That includes relationships. That includes friendships. And that includes these ladies on the TV screen. You can be replaced too, no matter what you think you bring to the show. And in my opinion, Quad, this is what you get for trying to ice Mariah out because you led the charge. Moving back on with my with the rest of the show. Um, she wants to start um. Simone is pretty much like, you know, what space are we in? What's your status with the group, especially the OGs? She says there are some things that has been done in the group that I, that I, you know, that I admit I did wrong in the group also, but the group has done me wrong. Simone says you got to stop playing victim. I agree. Um, Kwa said, I don't feel like this is a safe space. So Simone says, so if it's not a safe space around these women, pretty much why are you here? If you don't feel like this is a safe space, why are you here? And she's like, there are second chances. That's why everybody, you know, I just want everybody to wipe the slate clean. Um, 
she said, I want to change and I want to be good to you. And I want the group to be good to me, baby. Heavily then, baby. Baby. Heavily. Then was like, you know, quad, I haven't heard from you. Um, you and Faye did, didn't talk. And then you all of a sudden call me up. I feel like I'm being used. Jackie said you're using me. Faye just said you changed your flight. So she didn't have to ride with you. She said that um, the energy you brought to the, to, the, to the funeral or your resurrection or whatever was negative. She didn't want nothing to do with it. Qua gets in the confessional and she's like, oh, Phaedra said that. Oh, Phaedra said that. Oh, Miss Parks said that. Miss Parks, let's not forget how you got in this group, Miss Parks. I said, oh, my gosh. Heavily said, even Jackie said you were using me. Um, Heavily with child was throwing everybody under the damn bus. Um, and then she talked about Greg and Phaedra Dayton and Faye and how... Um, Quad was like, well, yes, when I when I talked to Greg, he said that y'all dated and you asked him for $4,000 a month um, to date. So Sweet Tea and then um, Sweet Tea, um, excuse me, Phaedra then asked Sweet Tea, has Greg ever told her that? And she said, no. She said, well, that's the truth. And in the confessional, she goes, $4,000, girl, my purse cost $10,000. Yeah, but it didn't cost that back in the day. Um, Heavenly. Heavenly. Contamination. Right. This nasty ass house. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Dim's fighting words. Heavenly. I'm just gonna deny you that hoe. Chopped up and served on the side. You had no reason to throw everybody under the bus. Focus on you and Quad and stop bringing the other girls into the issue into the issue. Focus on your issue you got with Quad. Girl, you used me. I was your sister. I helped you when I didn't need to help you. I was your I was your end to the group. These other girls can handle their problems with you on their own time. So I thought Heavenly was wrong for throwing under the bus. But at the same time, I also understand Heavenly's frustration. Girl, I was there for you when none of these girls wanted to fool with you. Anyway, y'all, that's my review. Um, like I said, Barry the Medicine got it going on. So we're going to see what's going to go on next week. Anyway, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend who knows a friend who knows a friend. Have a great week, and I will talk to y'all later.